Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today I'm gonna be reviewing a film that's fairly obscured, it's low budget, and it's something that came out quite a while ago. It's the film titled The Dragon the Hero. Yep, another Kung Fu feature folks. I like to talk about martial art films, even though I feel like I don't talk about them enough, really, if, if I'm going to be honest with you. But here you are, whatever. It's been on my to-do list for quite some time anyway, so I just figured I might as well get just, just get to it, finally. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I'm reviewing the English dub version. Yep, the English dub version, folks. Oh, boy. Because as I mentioned multiple times before, getting the actual unaltered versions of these films can be a pain in the ass to actually get. So anyway, but regardless, as usual, folks, I have to talk about the plot. So let's just get into it, shall we? So here we go. So we get to see that there is this legendary kick expert, uh, northern kick expert, and master of the strike rock fist is sent to investigate uh, these antique smuggling gang. Let's just say that's working out this one area. Yeah, not to be confused with Jackie Chan's Dragon Hero. There's, there's no correlation here, folks. Just thought I'd clear that up. And yeah, things, things do become rather crazy as you may Guess yourself, folks. It's a martial arts film. Of course, things are getting pretty damn crazy, as they should. Anyway, meanwhile, however, uh, there's another descendant of the Strike Rock Fist that also seeks a uh, main character here to face him in a death duel. So, of course, yeah, it's um, it's pretty damn insane, I guess. So you got to get to the to see these two individuals who are direct descendants of the Strike Rock Fist Master, who pretty much began as um, best friends, I guess you would say. But however, unfortunately, the thing is that ended up being the worst enemies, so to speak. So, yes, of course. It's kind of like a revenge kind of a story. Yeah, revenge has been used as a setup for this movie. Again, like, I, a lot of these combo features that I've seen over the years and reviewed Yes, of course, Kung Fu is being, even is using the revenge plot again. Oh boy, I lost count how many times has this been used here, folks. But anyway, here we are, I guess. But yeah, the revenge does continue throughout their lives. And then the two warriors discover that they have a common enemy. So, this common enemy is this, uh, I guess, perverse master. Uh, uh, this master, I guess he's kind of an asshole, I guess you would say. Uh, and this, I guess this, this piece of shit must, must get beaten up, must get taken down. So, yeah, something must be done about this one guy. That's what we get. It's kind of like a, yeah, there's some bits and pieces of comedy throughout the entire film, folks. Why it doesn't overstate its welcome, but it kind of brings it down for me, folks. As I mentioned before in one of my other videos, I guess, Kung Fu and comedy, I don't know, just, they were never a good mix for me. I like both genres, but together, it's just, yeah, it just doesn't, doesn't exactly feel right, as far as I'm concerned, I guess. Maybe just me, I suppose, but whatever. That kind of a thing, of course, folks, so, yeah. Anyway, of course, it's going to take place in a certain period of time in Asia, but it's not exactly, like, super modern, of course. Like a period piece? kind of a thing going on here, which, like I mentioned before, these types of Kung Fu films uh, tend to be my favorite, folks, uh, if I'm be honest with you. There's lots of hand-to-hand comment, of, obviously. I guess the final part of the film can be considered to be pretty damn crazy because the last 30 minutes is one huge fight scene, and it doesn't really fail to please, of course. So I guess they were trying to do a bunch of crazy stuff, obviously, folks. So there's that. And I guess I can't complain too much, really. So it comes with territory and whatnot. So again, just keep in mind, this is the English dub version I'm talking about here. 
that you're gonna guess yourself. But yeah, I did like the choreograph of the fight scenes. And here, folks, I did like that way it was done. Because it, it's, um, it doesn't involve too much editing, really. I do find it rather weird that this film also goes on different titles. A few of them are here, and I don't know why. It just seems odd that this place. It just makes everything even more fucking confusing. Oh, for this, it makes it hard to track down for people who are generally interested in the genre. So, what the fuck? It isn't like hyper edited or whatever, so that's that's a plus in my book. It always is. So, there was that. Yeah, sorry. Don't overdo with the editing, folks, especially when it comes to the fight scenes, really. And, okay, a phrase I've often heard is that. Yeah, this was definitely one of those quote-unquote Bruce Lee movies. Yeah, it was heavily inspired by Bruce Lee. Well, I use that loosely, but you can see what they're trying to aim for, of course. So, I guess a lot of people are doing that a lot anyway. So, I guess, of course, this would do that. I'm not surprised, like, at all. Of course he would. But, if you're trying to judge the film on its own merits, yeah, the film isn't bad. I, again, yes, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Editing can make or break a movie, and that's true, especially so when it comes to Kung Fu, and at least in my opinion it is. Don't o don't overdo it, especially when it comes to fight scenes. I really hate that. I really fucking hate that. I notice that quite often, especially with the more modern era of action movies. Come on. That's a pain in the ass. I mean, all right, all right. I've ranted about that before, and I'm talking about it again. So here we are, I suppose. So, yeah. Anyway, I can say that this one's it's pretty good. I liked it. Even though the dubbing, yes, does need work, obviously. I like to see a good Chung Lee movie. I mean, for fuck's sake, how fucking difficult should that be? She's a martial artist, for crying out loud. Ugh. If only. Well, I had to throw my rant in there somewhere. Somehow. Anyway, but altogether, I thought this was a, had a decent setup. A pretty good... Uh, Fighting, I guess the choreograph is really well done. Yes, despite the fact that the um, budget isn't exactly so high. Yes, the productive values may not be all special or whatever. I thought this was well made anyway. That way it was choreographed. Just because it doesn't have a lot of money placed to it doesn't mean that it could have, uh, you know, be done in an amateur matter. No, of course not. So quite a bit of effort is obviously done in the production, of course. So there was that. I like that. I just put the effort in it into it. Like the old saying goes, presentation is everything, right? So make it worth your while is what I'm saying here, folks. Yeah, make it worth your while. Anyway, all I'm saying is that, yeah, give it a shot. If you can track down the um, unrated version of Gil, not unrated, uh, the unaltered version, I mean, give me my guest. Go ahead. Sure. Whatever. But yeah, folks. I can't say that. Yeah, this one isn't too bad. No. At least I don't think so. No. No. I, I, like, I like these movies. I really do. Even though, like I said, folks, I feel like I don't talk about these all that often, really. I mean, I, I can't review quite a few of these. I actually did review a lot of these movies. But I feel like I really don't. I feel like I don't review these films all that often, really. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too hard on myself. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I tend to do that. But yeah, folks. I liked it. I can't say it's worth a watch. And, um, but anyway, I'll give this film a overall rating of, a um, 7.0. I think it's a 7.0 for me, folks. And as always, thank you for watching, and take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh, yeah. Yeah.